Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from Dr. Galvani's apartment in this Let's Play Dishonored series. In the previous episode, we came to, to the good doctor's apartment to try and find his journal so that we could find out more about the rat plague as well as get some rat guts for granny freaking rags. And in this episode, we're going to try and do exactly that. Now, there is a maid that I need to take care of. Um, so what I want to try and do is, like, blink right behind her, if possible, right? And then just strangle her ass without her even knowing that I got there. So check out the, these ninja skills right here. Kaplam! Ah, she didn't even see it coming! Oh man, that was sweet! Alright, alright, Nursey, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put you over here, man. It's nice and comfy over here. Um hmm, I hope that didn't break anything. My bad. Um right, so here we are guys in Dr. Galvani's apartment. There's a couple of sweet loots for us to pick up uh, here and there. We know that there's another guard in here somewhere because we saw the nurse talking to another guard. So, um, what in the name? What in the name of hell is that, man? Damn, this is a crazy ass place. Ooh, this is obviously. Uh, ooh, hello there. Sleep darts, nice. I'll take those. Um, a pocket watch and a journal. Dr. Galvani's journal. I have been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course I won't attend. The 28th day of the 7th month, the month of the high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I will solve the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of TV on red. Um, perhaps you will, good sir. Perhaps you will. Um, right, I'm going to save the freaking game right up in here. Um, right, so we have upstairs and we have a downstairs um, in this house. Uh, I think I'm going to sneak because I can hear people talking. Um, let us go upstairs, see what we can find. Um, right, is there a guard up here? I think there is. Um, where is he? Huh? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little god. There you go, man. Ah, having a nice little nap, aren't we? It's just Chucky over here, man. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that one. There we go. Um, what? Wow, that music is freaking me out, man. Whoa, what? What are these? Spring razor. A spring razor trap can be attached to any surface by aiming it and pressing left mouse. It will be triggered as an enemy approaches it. Damn. <laughs> that uh, doesn't look like a, a good way to go, man. What's up in here, man? Just rat cages. Okay. So, so we, we use the key to open up here. Man. That is a nasty ass rat. Rat for Sarah, 20 meters. No! Ooh, oops. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to do that. Whoa. Okay, well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Even though I wasted it. Um, so it looks like I, I actually have to get possession to get this rat for Sarah, right? Oh, God. Right. I've got one rune, right? And possession is three runes. I have one. I need to get two more runes. But, um, man, how are we going to do that? Well, we, I think we're going to have to go deal with that, the, the Bottle Street gang, right? For, um, for Granny Rags, it seems. Because we're going to need more, we're going to need more runes. Um, so this looks like Dr. Galvani's laboratory. Um, man, looking crazy up in here. Damn. What I'm looking for is any kind of money. Like processed, uh, oil. Processed whale oil, for example. That is some good money. Mm. Right, let's see what this says. Obviously. Plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Perhaps, good doctor, perhaps. But guys, this is bad because we don't have freaking... We don't have enough runes for possession to get the Viscera. Um, 
I mean, this is, it is slightly annoying. The Leviathan Sorrow! Um, what else is in here? I mean, how are we going to get to that freaking... How are we going to get to that Viscera, man? Seriously. Some coin! Mm. Ten coins, man. That is what I'm talking about. Right, so where does this go, anyway? Okay, it goes to Clavering Boulevard. I don't know if we want to go to Clavering Boulevard just yet. Um, I, d I want to know how to get to this freaking rat for Sarah, man. Five meters? I mean, there has to be, like, some sort of a... Does this do anything? Does this, like... Does this open up a secret passageway or something? Oh, there we go. Fake book. Ah, okay. Sweet. So check it out. We could have used possession, right? Oh, no. Actually, we couldn't have. Plagued rat for Sarah. Damn, that is nasty. Check, you can see the freaking guts and liver and everything, man. Damn. Um, right, what else have we got here? Some... Oh, man. Get in my belly coins. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. Um... I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that we work is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too, man. Tell me about it. We've got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what. And it ain't like we, we get help from those pricks. In civil engineering either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years, and I've ne'er seen one of come below, except a measure Will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges? Man, this dude is just whining. You want some cheese with your wine, man? Freaking noob. Right, what's in here? Now we're getting a lot of Piero's jazz. It's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so what I want to try and do is... Okay, oh, look at this, right? I, I think I can actually um, sort out my hotkeys. So one is going to be blink. Two is going to be sleep dot crossbow. Three will be deadly crossbow. Four will be... Um, Incendiary bolt crossbow. No, no, let's make two the heart, right? Then three sleep dart, four. Oops, four this one. Three sleep dart. I really like this system. It's it's really clean. Okay, there we go, man. That's looking that's looking good. Or maybe what we should do is make um one, two, three my spells, and then Four, five, six, the weapons. And seven, the weapons. Okay. So one, two, three are my spells, right? Basically. Let's just save the game at this stage. And then four, five, six are my weapons. So this is gonna this is gonna help me play a bit better. So this is blink. This is the heart, right? Um, the doom of yes, you've told me that already. Freaking heart. And this is this uh, this nighttime jazz. I don't know what it does, but uh, it's pretty sweet, though. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's go downstairs now, uh, back into crouch mode. Got my blink ready. Um, let's see what we can find. Oh God! All right. So, so there's two guards there, right? Um, what I want to try and do. Okay. So that guy is. That guy's chilling. So do you reckon that I'll, that I'll be able to blink behind this one? I don't know. I don't know, man. I think I'm going to have to sleep dart them. This isn't look... I mean, when there's two of them, it's pretty tough, right? So. Let's sleep dart huh? the, the one. Come on. <coughs> Come and check it out, man. You heard something, right? Right. Sleep dart to the face. Bam. Oh God. Oh God. Ow. How many are there? Jeez! Alright, four. Sleep dart! 
Reload, sleep. <laughs> there we go. Sleepy times. Um, right. You guys can just sleep on the stairs. You'll be fine. Right. I don't have many sleep darts left, but, um, you know. When there's so many freaking guards, you know, you just got to get busy. Right. What else have we got up in here? Ooh, there's some normal bolts. I wish I could sell them. Avoiding the rat plague. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from river crusts will protect against contraction of the disease. Man, who's rubbing, who's rubbing river bile on them, man? Damn. Slack jaw. Ooh, check, there's bolts in there. <laughs> Someone's been shooting at him. Sweet. A uh, reward of 2,000 coins for the capture or death of Slackjaw. 2,000 coins? Damn. <laughs> I'll take that freaking deal. Alright, Galvani building key. Excellent. So now we have full access to this um, this building. That's for shizzle. Um, let's just get rid of this, uh, this guy quietly. You can come chill over here, my buddy. There you go. Right, is there anything behind here? Nope. Right, anything else we can pick up up in here? Anything in this cabinet? Just some booze. Man, I gotta, I've got to uh, try to get better at distracting the guards. Um, you know, I, I think I'm pretty bad at, at, <laughs> at the distraction game. So I've got to try to distract them and then sort of um, blink behind them and make them unconscious, right? That would be like the best way to play. But, um, you know, at this stage it's all good. Feeding log. Assorted human remains, strong appetite. One bag of Tivian pears, rats interested. <laughs> Man, what the hell? Feeding feeding the rats freaking human remains? Damn, Dr. Galvani is a, one crazy bastard. Okay. Ooh, there's a there's a healing potion. Some grapes, a pear. Let's get our, our health back up, man. Sweet. Okay. So I think that's everything from this apartment. Um, I think we probably... Uh, look, it feels like we've explored every nook and cranny. Um, what we need to do now is try... I mean, maybe what we need to do is try go do that Bottle Street Gang thing. Um, what's in here? I know. The Distillery District. Right. So, alright guys. So, I'm going to save F10. And let's go out into the distillery district. Go to Clavering Boulevard. Um, my ultimate goal is to is to get past the, that that second um, to get past the second wall of light, right? Which is oh god, man! He just stomped on that rat. Yeah, we got to try get past that second wall of light, right? Um, uh, I want to try to take this guard out. He's annoying me. <laughs> Let's see if we can sneak up behind him. Be very, very quiet. <clears throat> oh god, there's another one. Alright. Right, into the slums we go. So, what I wanted to try and do is see if I could actually... Bullets? Sweet! No, I don't, I don't need that, that food yet. What I was thinking about doing was um, trying to get go through the this freaking... Bottle Street thingy. Because you can actually get around the Bottle Street... Um, it says that you can get around the Bottle... You can get around the... Cannot be open this time. Check it out, right? So it says um, in the notes or in the mission clues, contaminating the Bottle Street Gang's el elixir still with plague rat viscera will infect anyone who drinks elixir with the plague. That includes the Bottle Street Gang and the people who buy their black market elixir. Um, I kind of want to do that, right? I mean, I don't have any remorse taking out the gang because, I mean, they're, they're freaking, they're buttholes, man. You know, they I mean, they they're a plague to the city. And I'm going to deal with it. And Granny Rags is going to give us some sweet-ass loot. 
Um, this is Granny Rags' house, right? So let's try and find the, the entrance into the freaking... I think it's this way, actually. Go to Dunwall Distillery! Alright, so this is the Bottle Street Gang, right? Um, and look, right here, we've got somewhere to walk. So let's go up. Okay, down? Ain't he just a boss? Like Slackjaw? No, no, this is one odd bird. Consorts with crazies, does rituals and the like. Bone charms. You sound afraid. Bone charms are sweet, dude. Down in the ordinary man. Touched by the outside ways. Give the dark powers. Alright, let's... Hey! It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Haha, <laughs> sweet man. Oh, hello. Pistol and some bullets. And a freaking grenade. <laughs> Damn. Sweet. We found a grenade, man. That is awesome. Alright, so we are literally going very quietly along the top of this pipe, bitch. Trying to make sure no one sees us. <laughs> you got an ass face, dude. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixirs done. He'll want to check on things. Alright, so we've come all the way across here. Everything's fine. I mean, what are we trying to do here like anyway? Run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Not fast enough. We're trying to get in there, right? We're trying to get into this freaking distillery. But, um... How can we do this, man? How, how can we get in? Can we actually climb up this pipe? Nope. That's not gonna happen! I think we might be able to... Oh, look, they're actually... They're, they're going for a walk, so we might be able to just blink in front of the door and then um, jump in. Right, sweet, guys. Well, I have to end... Look, they're facing the wrong way. I have to end the episode here, guys. <laughs> But uh, in the next episode, we are going to be going into this freaking Dunwall distillery and hopefully we can poison these bastards, water supply, or whatever we have to do. Guys, this has been Randolph Bang Dishonored. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the freaking subscribe, subscribe button, guys. Because, you know, it's it's getting freaking exciting, man. We're getting kick-ass. We've got some kick-ass skills going up in this business. And guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!